All right, so I've been using macOS 13 Ventura for a little bit, and I found that the biggest thing that is probably the biggest change that I feel like they didn't even mention was that system preferences is dead. It has been replaced with the new system settings. And I don't even know what to think about it, man. I mean, my guess is they're going to probably, in Mac OS 14, as stupid things going to be called settings, right? I, I don't know, but it looks like it's going that iOS route. It looks different. It acts different. It's actually not bad. I mean, it is pretty cool. You can look at that. I can adjust the window. All right, so let, let's take a peek at what these actually look like side by side. The old system preferences and the new system settings. So if I bring them up side by side, definitely a drastic difference. I feel like there's about a hundred more items inside of system settings. Let's just take a peek at the drop down view menu and see what has changed between them. So you can see even some of the stuff has been removed or added. Let's just go through and take a look at what this does. So this is your new system settings. Start off, you're gonna to wanna to sign in your Apple ID. Then you go down to your Wi-Fi networks. This is where you're gonna set up a Wi-Fi network, right? You're gonna click plus. But if you wanna see more about your Wi-Fi connection, you gotta go into network, select the little eye over here, and that's gonna bring me up different areas that allow me to configure proxies and what have you and then looks like the firewall is in for there definitely turn that guy on and then we got the Bluetooth underneath notifications you can go through each of the things it's really a lot like iOS I mean as I'm kind of going through it you can see I'm just gonna fly through this so you guys can kinda get a, a view of it what it looks like I don't know if there's pickups I don't know what that is uh, yeah but general is kinda the one that really kinda threw me off it's like man you put startup disk in there You've got Profiles pane, which was in the other one. You've got all these, the sharing pane, the date and time language. I mean, all this stuff, man, was inside its own preference panes. Okay, let me go in on a couple of these. So, about software update. Click on that. Check these guys out storage okay definitely more iOS like okay okay so they even added the login items took it away from users and groups language and region date and time going to the sharing pane just can see what that looks like time machine Transfer reset. This is where you're going to do an erase all content and settings instead of it being in the drop down menu up here where it was in system preferences. It's now within this transfer or reset area. Then you've got your startup disk and your profiles, which I do not have any of. All right, and then we've got appearance accessibility I don't know if there's any I want to really go through all of them control center move 
the well, it looks like oh okay. Never mind. Yeah. There we go. Syrian spotlight. Kinda seems like a good idea to put them together, right? Privacy and security. This one has a ton of different areas in it, as well as turning on your file vault down here. And what is okay? Just some extra stuff. Let's go to desktop and dock. Just uh, displays. Some cool wallpapers. Oh, that's kind of slick. Oh, it looks like and then screensaver, different options. Oh, nice. That's the message you can put. Battery. And then the lock screen. Yeah, they definitely move stuff around. It was all, all in different places. I mean, this has to be because they're syncing it up with iOS. All right. Passwords, internet accounts, game center, wallet, and Apple Pay. Let's go down to keyboard, trackpad. Don't have any, and don't have any. All right, well, I mean, it's just gonna probably take a little bit of getting used to. So I would have to say it's a good change because it feels like I'm able, once I get the hang of this, I'm gonna get to the point where I know exactly where stuff is. You know, that's kind of a bug. Kinda stays in the spot it was. Like if I go back, right? So if I go into sharing and I go somewhere else, then I come back. Yeah, that's a kind of a bug. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Mac OS 13 and this whole system settings thing. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.